All right, everybody, this is my first video with audio. Uh, I did a walk around on my 98-1500 after I finished the six inch lift on it without talking to anybody. And I really wasn't gonna do changing the front brake pads, but figured maybe there's somebody out there starting out, doesn't know how to do it, maybe he wants to learn. So it's really simple once you get the tires off and get your jack stands for support. It's an Allen, it's a 3 8 Allen. If you don't have the socket, Allen wrench and a pipe will work too. But I happen to have the socket for it. It's really simple though. It's like two, the two slide bolts. And you loosen them up. It seems to take forever sometimes. But you just loosen up the two bolts and unlike any of the newer cars in 98 they were smart and didn't use brackets so you only got these two to take off and the floater the rotor slides right off and i already done the driver's side and that rotor was pretty shot on the inside which is why i'm doing these because it ain't stopping quite right the back end seems to be locking up on me before i actually can stop and i don't like that because I just did the lift and I got these tires and I spent a lot of money on all that and I don't want to ruin my tires by making flat spots by the braking on them like that. So I figured I'd just hop over and change on the front brakes here, get some new pads and rotors in and figure maybe I'd make a little how to for people who are maybe just starting out or whatever. Because I'm new at this YouTube channel stuff, you know. It's, that's why my other video it didn't have no audio on it and just got to kind of persuade it out a little bit I don't have any pliers up here with me but you just back off the caliper a little bit you know those pliers works just as good or a pry bar and boom here you got your caliper off now the brake pads they're just held on by held in by these metal retainers and they just pop right out of there real quick like and you can use a c-clamp to squish the calipers in but i got me one of these handy dandy squisher tools and you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing in on the caliper which this one seems to be not doing too good so i might be doing a future video on replacing front calipers too because this one is really kind of going in kind of slow. Which ain't good for stopping either. Gotta break my tool. Wake up tool. Time to go to work. Because if you ain't going to do it, I'm going to have to get a C-clamp out. I don't know if I have one here big enough. As you can see, the rotor is nice and free already. We don't have any other bracketry to remove. <clears throat> and it looks like this one's going to be a little stubborn. So we're going to have to go back in here in the back of the truck where I haven't been keeping my work tools. And not get run over by this tire. Let me tell you guys, when you go up from a 245-65-16 to a 325-65-18, them tires are about the equivalent of a 35, and I did that with the lift because I wanted uh, tires to fit the wheel wells, and they do really nice too. I could actually, with a 6 inch, I could probably put 37s on here if I really, really wanted to. So this one was fighting me, so I went and got one of my C-clamps. Which do the job just right too. Might have to force that one in a little bit too. Then you just set it on the back there and start turning it in. And hopefully this compresses because I really don't feel like going to a parts store. 
right now to get me a caliper because I work at a shop so when I need parts I just tell the old boss man I said boss man I need to break pad and rotors for this truck and break pad I need caliper now and well I ain't at work till tomorrow because weekends is the only time I really get for myself and the old wife has had me busy or it's just been too darn cold up here because we went today we went from like spring at 45 55 degrees to 90 it's 90 today right now so I waited till the evening to hammer this brake pad job out because it was just too bit too hot out here I mean I couldn't I'm sweating right now it's still like 90 degrees so I think this caliper is my problem and I've got it almost in there all the way but since this truck is 22 years old and it's got almost 260,000 miles on it which is a lot not a lot for the 350 that's in it those things they'll run forever but as you can see this brake pad is like dust it's like half of it's missing already it's got cracks in it so it's been time for a while now we'll take a peek at the rotor and there's the back of the rotor look at how chewed up that is no wonder my brake pedal is vibrating and that's the worst that's the first sign you know you got bad rotors if you hit your brake pedal and it pulses on you so we'll get in here in the box of the new rotor Get her out of the package. Love that plastic they put on there. And slide her on there. Now when I did the lift last year, I did do new hub bearings. New ball joints, pretty much the whole front suspension except for bushings. New pitman arm, new idler arm. It has new sway bar links because those kind of just they break when you take them off and they're cheap. Now, what I do with my brake pads? Here they are. If they was a snake, they would have bit me. I'm my behind. So, you just take your brake pads and they'll kind of squish in in the back and pop into the caliper. Then you bring your caliper out here. And you just slide that caliper between the metal brackets. The other side went together a little better than this, but probably because I'm making a video of it never done no videos before and you'll know when it's in there because it'll pop and it ain't popping in there yet there's holes here that the little dip with the metal things will sit in and this one side just ain't liking it just need to go over a smidgey we'll tap it in just like that there we go and you probably couldn't hear the little click as it snapped in but those, there's little dimples that pop into the holes and it holds it together then what you gotta do is slide it back together which apparently I did not have the calipers squished enough. So we're going to try it again. And my videos, guys, are probably going to be all live. I ain't going to be doing no editing. So if I screw up, you're going to know it. And that's all right. Everybody screws up. In a lot of videos I watch, I don't watch them because the guys screw up and they admit it because I don't like watching people that just come back and say, well, this is how it was, but it's different than I, I'm not going to tell you what I did wrong. But we need just a smidge more on this here caliper for today. And I'll be getting a new one by the end of the week. That's for sure. 
the last thing I want is a smoking hot brake. I hate that smell of burning brakes because you know something's wrong. There, the second time it just clicked right in there like it's supposed to. Like a good little brake pad. Yeah, it's a good little brake pad. Now, if you just go on there, I'd appreciate it. We're still not happy. I'll be happy to get it done. Looks like we gotta go in a smidge more if I can. It's getting harder to turn. Even with that C clamp, it's getting harder to push. But we'll keep keep on pushing. I should have videotaped the other side, I guess, because that side went right together. There you, there you go. There's my mistake. I recorded the wrong side, I guess. So we'll try it one more time. And there it is. slide into the little holes and you can feel that if you got your socket in there you can feel the start pushing you can feel it line up with the little hole and then you just start tightening it back together and then you're done but if you all want a little background on this truck it's a 98 GMC K1500 Sierra package SLE model package whatever that all that extra stuff means but I live up here off Lake Erie and I did not buy this truck from this area because it is not all rotted out I went down and one of my one of my best friends down in North Carolina he passed away a couple years ago him and I spent three days in a little Nissan Versus station wagon hunting around his place for a truck for me that was four-wheel drive and I tell you it's hard to find a four-wheel drive down south that ain't been used and abused or mudded with this happened to be an old farm truck the dealership had picked up and they didn't even have it out on their lot yet I don't know what the torque spec is for these but eh, it's good enough that's nice and tight so we went on over there to the dealership and he had a pretty white one, but I have a white car already. I don't need another one. White is terrible color to keep clean. It really is. I hate I hate white cars. <laughs> I hate cleaning them because it everybody says black. Black is terrible. It shows all the dust, but white shows everything. Every little piece of dirt. So there you have it. After you get your two slider bolts tightened down, it's all done. And that's all you need. So thanks for watching if you're watching. If you're new to doing car work, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Y'all have a good night now.